Hi everyone, Yasas que Carlos Irzate to another episode of Dimitra's Dishes. Today we're going to be making a spinach feta and artichoke dip. It almost tastes like spanakopita dip. It's the same exact recipe that I used to make my spanakopita dip actually. I think I made it last year or so on the channel. I just added some artichoke hearts to this and it is perfect for a nice appetizer if you're hosting a party, maybe game day or even a holiday party. It's rich, delicious, feeds a crowd and it's so satisfying. Let's get started. So the recipe starts off with an onion that's been finely chopped and about three to four tablespoons of olive oil. Cook the onion until it's nice and soft and golden over medium heat. That's gonna take about six to eight minutes. Next, go ahead and grate three or four garlic cloves and add them in. Just warm them through for a few seconds until the garlic is fragrant. Happens really quickly. And then while the onions were cooking, I went ahead and I just roughly chopped a pound of baby spinach leaves. I'm gonna add them in in a few batches. Each time one wilts, I'm gonna add the next. So right after the first batch wilts, I'm going to increase the heat to medium high. So that way any uh, liquids that are, re are released by the spinach evaporate. So that way in the end, the dip is gonna be nice and creamy and not watery. But I'm gonna do that after the first batch wilts because I don't want the onion and the garlic that's underneath to burn. And then go ahead and season each batch with a little pinch of salt and pepper. Take it off of the heat once the spinach has wilted and then transfer it to a big mixing bowl or you can continue to work in the same pot. Then go ahead and add eight ounces of uh, room temperature cream cheese. This is full fat cream cheese. You don't wanna use the low fat stuff here. Put it right in while, while the spinach and onions are hot so it can melt it. And then I'm also gonna add half a teaspoon of dried dill. You can use fresh dill if you want. If you're using fresh dill, about three to four tablespoons or a quarter cup. And then I have eight ounces of feta cheese. I'm just gonna crumble it in here. A little more black pepper if you want. You could add a little pinch of crushed red pepper flakes. Okay, I have six ounces of mozzarella that I've shredded. I'm just gonna put a little bit in here, maybe half or less than half. The rest I'm gonna reserve for the topping. And over here I have one 14 ounce can of artichoke hearts that I've just drained. I'm just gonna slice them up a little bit so that way they're bite-sized. I think quartered is perfect. Sometimes you find them already quartered, so use whatever you can find. And they're also gonna go right into the bowl. Just lightly mix it so everything is incorporated. Try not to break them up too much. And give the mixture a taste to see if it needs a little more seasoning. Mm, that is actually perfect. And I have a 10 inch round pie pan. This is clean. I had just uh, shredded or grated my cheese in here. That's why it looks like that perfectly clean. I'm going to transfer the mixture to the baking pan. Just use whatever you have, an 8 inch or a 9 or 10 inch round baking pan. Will, they'll all do. It'll fit. Sprinkle the rest of the cheese on top. And now it's ready for the oven. So my oven is preheated to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. This is going to bake on the center rack for about 25 minutes or until it's nice and bubbly and the cheese has melted. If your pan is broiler proof, you can turn on the broiler for the last minute or so. If you're using a ceramic dish like I am, I do not recommend it because it can crack or shatter and make a big mess in your oven. You could, you could actually um, increase the temperature to like 475 for the last five minutes so it can get nice and golden on top, almost look like a pizza. I'm drooling, this looks so good. Once it comes out of the oven, let it sit at room temperature for about 15 minutes so that way it can set toast some bread, take out some pretzels or chips and serve this, maybe even some veggies too, if you wanna keep this low carb. It's super low carb already as it is. Time for the taste test. And I just toasted some pita bread for this. Oh my goodness. So rich, so much flavor in this. Cheesy, you get all sorts of, all sorts of layers of flavor in this. The feta is creamy and briny. The mozzarella is nice and pulley, like it pulls like a pizza does. <laughs> if you want to add more flavor, you could skip the mozzarella and maybe add some cheddar. It's up to you or some Gruyere cheese. 
so delicious. I think you guys are gonna love this one. The exact measurements are on the website, www.demetriusdishes.com. Head on over there to print this recipe out, make it, share pictures with me on Facebook and Instagram, and I'll see you right back here next time with another recipe. Yes, us.